What's up guys, this is iTechOne here. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing the 11 inch iPad Pro model to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. But before we get into the comparison, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos. So let's start off with the display. The iPad Pro has an 11 inch screen while the Galaxy Tab S4 comes with a slightly smaller display of 10.5 inches. The iPad Pro has a 1668 by 2388 pixel resolution with 264 ppi, whereas the Galaxy Tab comes with a 1600 by 2560 pixel resolution with 287 pixel density. So overall, you're getting a slightly higher number of pixels on the Galaxy Tab S4, which makes the display a bit sharper. But you're getting a great display on the iPad Pro as well, which does have a 120Hz refresh rate, making the touch responsiveness a lot better in comparison to the Galaxy Tab's display. The iPad Pro comes with Liquid Retina LCD display while you're getting Super AMOLED on the Samsung's tablet. There are definitely pros and cons for having either an LCD or AMOLED displays. LCD uses a backlight to light up pixels on the screen, while each pixel on the AMOLED display produces its own light. This way, the AMOLED panels could create true blacks while the LCDs cannot. But the production costs to make AMOLED panels are very high. Apple has definitely improved their LCD displays though by adding features like True Tone which improves color accuracy. The screen to body ratio for the iPad Pro is 83%, whereas the Galaxy tablet has a 78% ratio. So generally you're getting more bezels around the Tab S4 in comparison to the iPad. Now let's talk about the design. The iPad Pro comes in two colors, silver and space gray. The Galaxy Tab also comes in two color choices of gray and black. The body of the iPad Pro is made up of aluminum, while the Galaxy Tablet has a glass body. The iPad Pro is slightly shorter than the Galaxy Tablet, yet still accommodating a 0.5 inch larger display. The iPad Pro is also wider, slightly thinner, and weighs less than the Tab S4. The rear camera on the iPad Pro is 12 megapixel with a focal length over 1.8 aperture, while you're getting a 13 megapixel camera on the Tab S4 with focal length over 1.9 aperture, so the iPad Pro will slightly do better in low light conditions. Both tablets come with LED flashes and could record 4K videos. The iPad Pro could record at either 30 frames per second or 60, while the Samsung Tab S4 records at only 30 frames per second. The iPad Pro comes with a 7 megapixel true depth camera system, while the Galaxy Tab S4 has an 8 megapixel camera, both having the capability of recording HD 1080p videos. Also, both tablets use their front camera systems for facial authentications. The iPad Pro has Apple's A12X Bionic chipset having a 64-bit architecture with 7-core GPU, while you're getting Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 with 64-bit and Adreno 540 GPU on the Galaxy Tab S4. If you choose the 1TB iPad Pro model, you will be getting a memory of 6GB. The rest of the storage capacities come with 4GB of memory, while all the Galaxy Tab S4s come with a memory of 4GB. And of course, the iPad Pro has an iOS operating system while the Samsung tablet runs on Android Oreo. Both tablets come with a USB-C port. The Galaxy tablet has an additional microSD card slot and a 3.5mm headphone jack, which you don't get on the iPad Pro. So the starting price for the 11-inch iPad Pro is $800, while the Galaxy Tab S4 starts at a lower price of $650. The prices increase from there depending on which storage capacity you get. Again, I wanted to point out here that the Tab S4 does have the micro SD slot so you could increase its storage capacity that way. Both tablets have accessories as well, you have to purchase the Apple Pencil separately for the iPad Pro while the S Pen is included with the Galaxy Tab S4. All other accessories like keyboards and covers are sold separately for both tablets. So which one would you prefer out of the 11 inch iPad Pro and Galaxy Tab S4? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up for more tech content. Until next time guys, take care.